Folks, urgent warning, breaking news, and suggestions for you to potentially save yourself a lot of pain, anguish, heartache, and loss of money. As reports are coming out from a story that I brought to you not too long ago about a Chase Bank. A Chase Bank ATM in particular in San Francisco, California, that apparently uh, is being targeted. Now, odds are this Chase Bank ATM isn't the only ATM that this problem is happening at, but this one is making major news headlines for the reason of scammers. And what they're doing is they are tampering with and destroying the card readers, which then forces anyone who wants to use the ATM for uh, withdrawals or deposits or any transaction at an ATM, a bank ATM, to have to use the tap feature. The tap feature can be accessed through your bank card, your check card, your debit card, and also, I believe, through uh, NFC and the app for the bank. Again, this could happen Probably at any bank. Now, I'm not 100% certain, but the biggest problem is, one, the fact that people are doing this to steal money from people. That's number one. But this is our society, folks. This is the world we live in. These are the challenges that we face. And with everything else out there that's working against you to take money away from you, the last thing you want to add to that is the possible vulnerability of it just being stolen. In a, in a case where the bank is not going to reimburse you for the lost money, for the fraudulent transactions and activities on your accounts. Um, but the big problem is, number one, the people stealing from people. And number two, the banks allowing it to continue to happen. And Chase Bank in particular knows that this is a problem, yet the ATM continues to function. The ATM continues to allow the users the ability to um, access these accounts after the tap to f tap feature initiates the transaction, leaving the window open and not immediately shutting it down after each and every transaction. Not even even going as much as putting a warning sign on the ATM to let people know, hey, make sure you end your transaction before you walk away. Well, now it's just been a few hours ago, maybe someone actually was had their account drained because of it and then had their claims denied. Therefore, Chase Bank was not going to reimburse them for the money that was stolen out of their account. So uh, the bank also gave him a very hard time was trying to you know reach a resolution and basically said without a police subpoena there's no way that they would even begin to review the footage to determine whether or not the money was taken out of his account by him or someone else well anyway if you guys haven't seen the video go check it out it's like on it's on bay area news 7 i believe and he went and recorded multiple different times where he would see the same person standing at the ATM running the same scam. Uh, he then took this video footage to Chase Bank and they said, no, just because the video shows that he's been stealing money from other people doesn't mean that he stole money from you. So he was still SOL, basically. The bright side the happy ending to the story is that channel 7 news or bay area news in san francisco california got involved and ended up helping him get his money back where the bank refunded uh or reimbursed for the fraudulent activity now odds are moving forward the bank is probably going to cancel his account because I, basically out of spite basically they didn't want to pay the claim and ultimately, they had their hand forced. Now they're making the news. Now they're getting negative publicity, yada, yada, yada. We know the banks are shady. We know the banks are only focused on them, number one, first and foremost. And they don't give two craps about us, okay? We know that. But when you, when you actually call them on it and then make enough noise to get attention 
for him and I think three or four other or maybe more accounts that they ended up reversing the charges for, now they have to be held accountable. Now they have to take action. And part of that action is probably going to be flagging your account and canceling it out of spite. So that's just my opinion. However, I do think that even if you weren't affected by this or haven't been affected by this yet, there's a big, big problem inherently with Chase Bank and all banks for that matter, which is something I discussed yesterday, which was that these banks don't necessarily educate their customers and their account holders. And they actually use this against them as ways to manipulate them, take money from them, charge them fees, make more money as a bank, which is sad to say. Um, me personally, I would rather buy and engage in business and interact with and support those who are honest and forthcoming than those who are trying to scam me and take advantage of me. That's just me. But anyway, part of the biggest problem, in my opinion, is the fact that this young man on this particular uh, news broadcast that went undercover to get this proof lost like $1,400 or more from that fraudulent tap to access ATM transaction. I will say that for the most part, my bank ATMs uh, limit me and um, set withdrawal limits as a default at relatively low amounts, typically under $600, sometimes even $200 before I have to go in and physically manually change it on my account through my banking app or through the website login. And I think that for Chase Bank, this is this is just my opinion. I think that for Chase Bank to allow these ATMs to have this feature available and functioning where people can continuously take money out, whereas other banks typically end the transaction after the first uh, action has been completed. For Chase Bank to continuously allow this to happen is strike number one. For Chase Bank to allow these ATMs to uh, dispense thousands of dollars in cash withdrawals is number two. And then to not even try to help the account holders and the customers review footage, put up warning signs, alert others, prevent this from happening in the future is strike number three. So We've, just, we've talked about Bank of America. We've talked about PNC Bank. We've talked about Wells Fargo Bank. Now we're talking about Chase Bank. And in my opinion, I don't like the way they operate. I don't like the way they do business. I understand and have to understand the inherent risks associated with each and every bank and every potentially safe place to put money, savings. Um, but I also have to then choose and select, weigh my options, the lesser of two evils and determine what I'm going to do, where I'm going to conduct business, how I'm going to protect myself and my money, my business, my family. So with that being said, Chase Bank would not even be a consideration, but for any bank, for any bank. The number one thing that I would do right now is I would go online, I would log into my app, I would check my account and see what my daily withdrawal limit is. Uh, I may even set, you know, maybe I, I might even look to turn off the tap to tap to access feature and only turn it on when I want it and turn it off when I don't need it. Kind of like your credit. I lock my credit and I only unlock my credit when I want, when I want someone to pull my credit and then I lock it back. It's an added step, but I think it's worth just that little bit extra to protect myself, to protect my score, to protect my money, to protect everything that I'm working hard for, to gain, to get, to keep, to have, especially now with as hard as things are and as bad as things are getting and likely to potentially even become more challenging in the future. The last thing I want to do is have my cash wiped out have to fight with my bank and have no recourse whatsoever besides them saying, sorry, you're SOL. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do to help you. Again, 
why I prefer to use credit cards too. But that's a whole nother story, topic of discussion for another video. I wanted to bring this to you guys as somewhat of like a public service announcement. Check your accounts, check your safety features, check your withdrawal limits. Don't let them steal money from you.